Each week on the show, we have this segment we call Farm Basics. It's mainly to talk about some things that we consider just routine things on the farm, things that we would commonly discuss. But if you're a non-farmer, you may go, um, what are they even talking about there? So this one today is called controlled traffic. And we'll explain just a little bit what we mean by that out in our fields. All right, first of all, we do actually get questions sometimes from non-farmers about, okay, you have this whole field of wheat. Where do you drive out in the field? Because it all looks the same from the road. Well. It actually doesn't, and there is a plan that farmers have to, to drive through the field, whether it be to plant or to spray or to harvest. Uh, yes, but what I get a little frustrated with sometimes is even, I'll just take our farm, when there are tracks that are running randomly through the field. The reason why we as farmers don't typically like that is because when we come along and plant the next spring, then we have some of these little divots that are out there and we can't do a good job in terms of seeding the next crop, getting good seed to soil contact, and having a nice even stand. So what we're looking for and what we mean by this controlled traffic is we just have certain places in the field and certain directions we want to go. And if we follow that, then usually we're in a lot better shape for the following year. One of the things that farmers have learned over many years is the first time you make a pass through the field and, and you have wheel tracks, that's where most of the compacted soil is going to be, where you squish some of the air out of that soil and you pack that soil a little bit hard. So if you stay on those same tracks, the next pass through doesn't do nearly as much compaction. So you see farmers trying to stay on those lanes. They'll also pick equipment. So if you've got uh, equipment that is the same size, so your planter is so wide, your sprayer is so wide and so forth e even your harvesting equipment is is so wide so you're driving on those same tracks with every pass that you're making through the field that's what we're talking about with controlled traffic and if you keep everybody doing that like Brian had mentioned you don't have uh, driving around in the field just willy-nilly it ends up keeping those those compacted areas where we can can work on them more easily in the farm and address them so we don't have problems next year. Well, and it's not just work on them more easily, but it's we only have a few spots we have to work on as opposed to having lots of spots. So the big thing that we're always after here on the farm is high yields. And again, I just, I can't state this enough. If we don't get a nice, perfect, even stand in the spring, then we don't have that really high yield that we're after. So that's the reason why we want controlled traffic as much as we can. And you know, there are always gonna be things that happen, but we want that controlled traffic out in fields, trying to repeat going on the same exact spot so basically creating a mini road in a few areas out in our fields that's usually how we can manage that best for just the short term and then also for the long term well one thing that will be out in those fields managing is our weed of the week can you identify this week's weed 